All right, so now we've created our promotional message. We've married our audio file with an image and created a video. But we have one more step to do before we actually upload that, and that is to create an RSS channel because not only are we going to be uploading it as a video, we're going to be uploading it as a podcast, and this is the gateway to getting your podcast distributed. Okay, and before we do that, I just want to highlight here this is literally not even 30 seconds from the time we left you last, but you'll see that our video is in fact completed. We could download it and preview it on our computer right now, and I could do that right now just to um, get it going. You can see that uh, here's the testimonial, and um, it tells us that it's an AVI file. So I could determine or decide whether or not I want to download that. There's really no need to because it's just the photo with the audio. But uh, right now, we'll jump right into the RSS channels and walk through what this is and how to make it work. Now, these are some RSS channels that are created. I'm going to create a new one and describe to you what they are and why they're so important. So the important thing to think about it is if you go to your television station right now, you've got channels that you can watch. You've got ABC, NBC, Comedy Central, HBO is a channel. And all of those have programs, or what we would call episodes, on them. An RSS channel is the exact same thing. It is just a convenient way to aggregate content and distribute it through the net in a standardized format that can be read by hundreds of different programs and systems. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to create a channel that we're going to call the Traffic Geyser testimonial channel so let's just start that up we'll call it the traffic geyser testimonial channel and um, we'll create an earl now we could maybe do testimonials.html for example and actually have a dedicated page to put those on I say why not we'll do that after the fact we haven't even created it yet and we're gonna give this a description we'll say these are real life um, testimonials from traffic geyser customers or people who have watched it being demonstrated. And then we might want to add traffic geyser is the most effective way to create videos and distribute them to over 35 free video hosting services, um, podcast channels, and social bookmarking sites generate massive traffic for any website. All right? All right. Now from here, we may uh, have a, a subtitle. And again, the big thing that I recommend is generally speaking, you want to keyword load your titles and your subtitles. Now, I didn't do that in this case, but I might put in here for the subtitle, maximum search engine optimization results with video. Okay. Now, for here, we might have an image URL. And uh, at this point, I'm not exactly sure what I have uploaded. So I'm just going to see. Well, it looks like I do have the Traffic Geyser logo. So I did upload that earlier. So I'm going to just select that. Um, let's see if I have a bigger one. Nope, we'll use that for right now. We can always go back and change it. So I'll choose that. So that's our image. We can categorize this. And again, this is something important to know is there are lots and lots of categories that we support here I'm gonna just leave it with internet business and we'll say traffic uh, you know, web site op optimization search engine optimization um, internet marketing and here we can give this thing some names basically contact information the last pop-up here describes the number of episodes you want to make available think of this as is um, reruns basically you can say I only want the the last five or the most recent five episodes to show up in my feed 
Well, when it comes to search engine optimization, we just leave it at include all items. It's why not make all of your content accessible? And remember, if you're creating, let's say you had testimonial feeds, every time someone leaves us a testimonial, we might look at it. We're going to publish this as an audio file and as a video file so we get this thing out to lots of places and let people subscribe to it. So is there anything else you want to add here, Rocket, before I click on the Create button? Nope. Okay, I'll hit the Create button, and at this point, we have a Traffic Geyser testimonial channel, and I'm actually going to just right-click on this and open it up so you can just see what it looks like. It's just a, our descriptive copy. Nothing more that's visible right now, but very shortly, we're going to submit this audio testimonial that our, um, our prospect actually left for us, and um, you'll be able to listen to it and you'll be able to subscribe to it in iTunes or any number of different accounts or syndicate it all over the internet instantly.